All right, ladies and gents, one more time. We just finished up with the other video with the ECU inputs tab. Now we're going to pretend we are brand new to ECM Link. Okay, so we're going to try and figure out how to set up our screen here as far as our uh, our logging screen. Okay, so we're going to go over a few things. I know Thomas Doris has already made some videos on the section right here, but we're going to go over a few because I have to make some changes for mine anyway. Okay. Now, normally when you have ECM Link and you're first starting it up, you'll have every single line, every box down here all all popped up on every single one up. Okay. Well, if you bothered to look at his videos that he's made, you would already know that if you hit Control Q, that clears everything out. Okay. I don't particularly like to see every single box down here checked off because that basically puts every single line on here and I don't need to see every line. I want to be able to see just enough so I know what's going on in my log because you can only have so many colors. You can have them solid, dotted, whatever the case may be. And I want just enough to be able to know what is going on with my car. Okay. The values are still going to be down here at the bottom, whether you have a line up here or not, that's got to be all pretty for you. Basically, I just want to be able to see what's going on. Okay. That's basically it. Now then, we talked about F9, F10 earlier, or if this is your first time catching it, this video you can hit f10 for your captured values you can hit f9 for your displayed values which is basically everything here is being displayed okay there are different ways to go about getting to your captured and your displayed values but we can come up here to ecu we've got captured values right here for f10 okay or if you need another way to get to captured values like i said in my last video but understand you probably might just be catching this for the first time you can go down here at the bottom, ECU Inputs tab, and then click on Captured Values. It's going to bring up the same box, but we're not really going to be using it in this particular video. Okay, so go back over here to Live Data, data Log, and let's see. I believe I have everything I want captured already for the captured value, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I'm going to hit F9 because I need to see what I want to display down here. Okay, now you can what you can do you can uncheck this box right here so it doesn't keep showing up every time like it does because i don't need all that mess okay this section right here is every single value that's or every single sensor that is actually being logged by the computer okay if you want it to show up down here you just place it over in this column okay you can either double click it or you can um, click on that particular value Click over here to add over here, and then it will bring from here to over here, okay? Um, I don't want every single one of these uh, over here. I only want to, I've seen people where they've added just about every single one on the left-hand side over here. You have every single value down here, and you can't even see the, the section up here. You can't even see a single line. So, now, these are always being logged. If you see it here, it is being logged. So, if you need to go back and see something, you can always pull up a log after you've already done it and let me show you an example here let's see we'll do file we'll do open and we'll pull up one of my logs here so i can show you what i mean real quick we'll just go to one of mine the 26 26 psi pull this is an old old one of mine and i think i had some issues with it um let's see so what i'm saying is here these are all the values that were that we're seeing that we're being logged okay but let's say for example we wanted to see horsepower or whatever the case may be tps delta ve um, even though we shouldn't be in ve because in this particular log i was a mass airflow sensor um, we'll just say horsepower for giggles okay even though i don't have my horsepower parameter really set up we can double click it click okay bam there's my horsepower so Ain't no way that I was running 1300 horsepower in my car. Okay, so obviously we know this is not set up correctly But basically what I'm getting at is that even though it's not displayed down here at the time It is being logged so you can always go back to these parameters any time Okay, and just view what you need to view Now what I'm going to do I'm going to go back down here to the bottom because I really don't want to see it anymore And we're going to take that out And remove it And now it's gone okay i don't need that log right now personally i'm trying to set things up for my particular car okay now i had i was using a uh, gm master flow sensor 
I'm not using that anymore. So I'm going to set mine up. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little bit of a cold here, and I guess it would help to keep that up there. Okay. So basically, anybody who's had a tune but done by me knows I basically have this layout down here, pretty much the same for every one that I'm doing. And uh, and then I just change a few parameters here as need be. Okay. So uh, first things first, real quick, because I'm changing over to speed density. Don't. Okay, I've already got that set up. So all that I should have to do, I'm gonna go back into F9 one more time. We are going to put in VE, and I'm just gonna double click it, and that might be about it. We will see. Some of these I want to take out. Okay, uh, let's see. Lin wideband. I'm not using that one. I can double click it to take it out. And let's see. I'm not using this one. Take that one out. I'm not using that one. And I'm not using that one. So, but I do want to move my VE up into that area. And click, and click up. And you can also hit Shift and, and the or let me see. Click on that one. Hit Shift and the up arrow, and you can highlight them all. And all of those, you can remove all of them at the same time. You can go down and highlight them all remove them or you can add them from over here as well all at a time but i'm not doing that in this particular video okay um let me see that might be everything i'm needing we will see real quick we'll click ok start stream and that's basically everything i'm needing okay i'm gonna get let the log go all the way across real quick Okay, so let's say this is our first time setting up ECM link. Basically, all the have all the parameters we need. Okay, so one thing we'll do, we'll just go ahead and check all the lines. Make sure you know, pretend like we're just getting ECM link. And it already has all the lines set up. If I can click on the dang things, I'll just click on them by hand because my mouse ain't working for crap tonight. So this is normally how you would look at it. You have every dang line up here. Do we really need every single line up there? No. <laughs> Don't get confused. So hit Control Q. And it's basically going to remove all of those. Okay. Now it didn't remove them all because I have these set up to where they're automatically going to display anyway. So I'm going to have to go in there and manually uncheck some of these. And then what we can do, we can come up here and we can right click. And we can do set all default preferences. So what that does... We'll go ahead and click on that, and every time we bring up our log, you know, you know, it's going to show up just like this at the bottom. Okay, everything that you see with all these lines here, if there's not one there, if there is one there, it's going to show up just like that. Okay, uh, unless you go back and change it later and want something else up there and you want it there permanently. Okay, um, we can right click again. There's a few different things we can do. You may just have to experiment with some of these. Um, if I went into a video about every single one of these. Uh, every single one of these would probably be here all night so but we're going to say we'll just go over a couple of them here unit preferences normally i'm setting my airflow mass to pounds uh, versus grams most people are wanting to read airflow from a turbo in pounds so we'll keep that there uh, if we need to do let's say we have an aem uh, wideband and we're trying to get the minimum and maximum uh, lambda we would put our air fuel ratio to lambda, okay? So that way when we're logging it, we have the minimum lambda and the maximum lambda. So that's where you would click the, uh, well, let me click lambda, apply, and okay. Now see how the value changed? So that was on, that would only be for the, um, in that instance, so the only time we're really gonna use it is that, and we're gonna go back to unit preferences, once you get the values you know what to put in for the AEM figures for linear wideband then we want to look at our wideband values go back to air fuel ratio apply and you see the numbers already changed back to 7.3 then okay that closes that out okay now another thing here real quick as well I'm gonna click F9 save as default okay just remember if that box is checked every time you move one from here to there it's gonna default those as well so um, it's another thing you may want to remember 
raw value. This is the real raw value. This is basically the raw voltage from whatever sensor it is, especially if you have an AEM. Um, you may want to use those. Um, let's see, or like an AEM wideband. Now, right now, I've got a LC1, okay, or a Innovate, okay. So let's say we're wanting to look at our switch point, uh, wideband switch point. We need to find out what the volts is, and basically, we're going to want that to be uh, that voltage around a 14.7 AFR, okay. So basically, what we do, we go over here and we look for somewhere in our log where it said 14.7, okay. Once you find that, and it says 14.7, you come down here and look at the raw LC1 wideband raw voltage. Whatever that voltage is, you come over here, that's what you put there. Bam, you're done, okay? Um, nothing we're really having to worry about here because for mine, I'm not going to be, yep, let me get back over there, I'm not going to be using an airband simulation, okay? I'm going back to a stock O2 sensor in the front, and wideband for the rear input, but all, all the both sensors are going to be up front. But basically, when you make the change, then we can save it down here. Okay. Now, we'll still have them set up however, however we want to set them up in our boxes, dotted, whatever the case. Changing our colors. For example, we've got dashed line, thick line. We can go down here if we want our line to be colored. This is where we do our colors. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty basic, but I know a lot of you guys that are pretty brand new may be clueless or kind of lost. Uh, label color, this is just what color, say for example, our knock retard, I have that red because that's important to me. We just changed the color of the wording there, okay, and that's all we're doing there. And then once you're content with what you have, apply, okay, and that's what you'll have. If I want to see that parameter, I just check on that box. It would help be helpful probably if I clicked on that actual box and I think I've actually changed it. So front row two and yes I did. So see I already changed it that quick. So I'll go back to I think I had it blue. I guess you're seeing what I'm doing here. Click OK. Apply. And OK. Bam. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna go up here. Well, I'm gonna uncheck it. I want that to be the default set all default preferences and then if I want to see it while the car is running I just click the box bam there it is I don't want to see it anymore because I've seen what I need to see I need to see if it's cycling up and down like it should when it's in closed loop and I've discussed that in another video about closed loop once I've seen it and I'm done and I want it on my waist because I, I don't want it cluttered up with a bunch of lines I uncheck it okay now I still have my raw LC1 wideband for example I don't want to be viewing that anymore I'm going to go on back over here and basically get rid of it okay and it's gone okay now real quick i set the rear uh the raw i mean i set the default preferences set all default preferences with the raw one down there okay remember the raw lc1 was down there so i'm going to show you what i mean real quick okay see right now it's not gone when i close this out and open it back up it's going to be back down there okay so We'll open it. We're closing it out, opening it back up. We'll start a stream. Oh, never mind. I already set it without it. So, my bad. But basically, I believe I had set the all def uh, default preferences without it. But anyway, if I had not, um, if I had not clicked set all default preferences, um, Anyway, my, my wording is getting mixed up. Sorry, I'm getting tired. But basically, once I, if, uh, if I had set that default preferences with, the, uh, with that down here, when I close it out, pull it back up next time, even though I pulled it out here, it's going to be there. I think the reason why it disappeared was because I have set as, save as default. So I think that's what happened there. So, But anyway, uh, also to remember you have a question mark here. You can click on that. And you have this little box up here, okay? That'll, if you need some kind of explanation, okay? So we're going to click OK. And that's pretty much it on this one. Um, I can't really fire my car up, so I can't really uh, show you too much other than that and where these values are going to go up and down. So, But just remember, we can click on what we want to see and what we don't as we please. 
just remember these values are still going to be down there they're not going anywhere but anyway that's it for this video i think it's uh, pretty self-explanatory we can shuffle these around change the colors of the lines we can change the colors of the words and we can even change the the uh, name of the parameter down here um, wideband we can lc1 whatever you want to call it up here and uh, and then have it displayed down here so um, i guess that's it for that video stay tuned i'll make more as i can y'all have a good night